So that's my derivative. Let's evaluate it at what number? Four. So I want to know f prime of four plus g prime of four divided by two times the square root of f of four plus g of four. What's f prime at four? Go to four, go to f prime? Eight. Plus, what's g prime at four? Negative two. You want to be very careful when you're looking at your table and you're picking the right stuff. Two times the square root of f of four. One plus g of four. Seven. So we end up with six on the top divided by what? Two? Square root of? Eight. Can I simplify something here? The six and the two? That becomes a three and that goes away. So this is really three over radical eight. And is that acceptable on the AP exam for a free response answer? Yes, that is completely acceptable. We do not have to rationalize, we do not have to simplify anymore. But if it really bothers you, we can go further. Do you want me to go further? Just for fun? Okay, let's practice simplifying radicals. So how can I rewrite radical 8? 4 times 2, right? What's the square root of 4? 2, so we took it out. So really I have 3 over 2 radical 2. And then sometimes we don't like radicals in the denominator, so we could rationalize. But that's okay, I don't, I'm not going to make you rest. This is good. Okay? Alright, so now we can answer the question, what does this tell us about Q of X, the original graph? What can we say about the function? Q of X is increasing. Why is it increasing? Because this is a positive value. So it's increasing at X equals 4. Again, because Q prime of X is greater than C. Easy? You got it? Yeah. So today's notes were mainly on application types of the problem, right? Or understanding what the derivative was after you evaluated it somewhere. Okay? In order to evaluate the derivative, you have to know how to find the derivative, right? So that's why we practiced that a little bit yesterday. All right, so for your homework, I do want you to try the rest of the assignment that I gave you yesterday. Okay, and try to finish that up, so that way if you have questions, I can answer them tomorrow right before we take the quiz. Sounds good? Any questions? No? Alright, so we are going to play a game, we're going to do a little scavenger hunt, and again that's going to be a review of chain rule. So you will have some problems there that you will practice the chain rule on. So um, what I do need for you to do right now is to find a partner, so pick somebody that you're going to work with, and you're going to work with them for the rest of the block, okay? Find a partner. Yay! Mande.